Hey everyone, it's Anne, and today we're starting our viewers share. I know, I'm wearing sunglasses, but it really helps me not get too much glare in my eye. So um, bear with the sunglasses, but here we go. This is gonna be so much fun, stay tuned. Okay, I wanna give a shout out to Susan from Susan's Cozy Cottage. She's the one who said virtual visits and I love that name, so I stuck with it. So check out her channel, she has her own channel and she's always doing really cute stuff with her decorating. And she's a super sweet person, one of my viewers. And so check her out and let's get on with it now. All right, these next five pictures are from Claudia from the Great Lakes region. And she shared her kitchen with us and I'm loving it. It's so cozy and adorable and cottagey. I mean, look at it. I love the way the pans are hanging up there. I love the cupboards. She's just got a lot of good storage space there. Um, I kind of wish that I did this in a way I could interview people because I'd love to know more about this house. I really love the country style decorating. Super cute. I see a scale. I see baskets and really pretty bowls. Here's another closer look. She's got those wonderful pots. What are they called that you can cook with? I love that cookware. And the copper, the red. I can see she's got a great use of color here. A lot of primary colors, the red and the yellow. And then she's got some green that grounds you. Really cute, Claudia. I love it. I love all the storage space you have going on here. This is interesting too. You actually have file cabinets. Very cute. Look at all the great country items. I'm really liking the colors. And look with the blue wall. So again, playing off the primary colors. Those cute gingham blue curtains I'm liking. I love that um, oil lamp right there. And this is super cute. This does remind me very much of a Great Lakes way of decorating. Reminds me of my friend Carrie. I did a tour for her at Christmas. She's got a lot of these same kind of sensibilities. And uh, she too was living around the Great Lakes for quite a while. So this is really cute. I find it interesting that we decorate differently in different areas of the country, right? Because if I was to see this in a magazine, I would think Great Lakes. So this is fun, right? Loving everything you have. I love those red pots. And I see you have two different pot racks. So everything is, oh, look what I'm seeing. I'm seeing those um, um, lots of cutting boards. Love that. Love the colander with the fruit in it. Love the use of your towels. Really nice. Very cottagey country. Okay, I'm seeing a rolling pin collection here and a colander collection. Very cool. I like how you've carried the gingham from the curtains into the shelves right there. I like those little shelves. And of course, we all love the fake fireplace heaters. I always love them. I, I really like that blue color on the wall. It's calming and restful, and it kind of gives a really nice backdrop for all of your country collections. So, Claudia, thank you so much for sharing this with us. This was really cool. I love going into all your homes and seeing what's going on. All right, so our next home visit is in England, and these pictures are from our viewer, Joan. And she's been sending me pictures of spring and things that she said would lighten up the mood. Look at, she's got those pretty little flowers going on right outside of her home. How cute is this with the stone walls and the green grass? I know for me today it's snowing. It's not quite spring around here. So that's just a pretty picture to make us happy. And then she picked up this cute little tray isn't it cute? So she wanted to show us some of her Easter decor and what she's been doing in there. So here's a look at her, would they call it a flat in England? I don't know, but look how cute this is. It's bright and perky. I love the little wood stove there and everything is just airy and bright and pretty. It kind of reminds me of the condo that I've been selling. Um, just really simple, 
I love this streamlined look of the chair. This is gorgeous. Look at this porch. Oh my gosh. Sitting there on a rainy day. And I love your decor in there, Joan. That twinkle tree, that's really neat. And that, that thing that looks like a dollhouse. Your flag on the chair, the leather furniture. Those windows are magnificent. And I see that beautiful lantern and a picture. Really tastefully done. I'm loving the neutral colors. So pretty. Oh, I see here you've got a, an, is it an entryway table. Um, and I see even a laundry room back there. That's a pretty blue. I love your twigs. It's very nice and peaceful. Very, very nice. All right, here we're getting a closer look at that that little house over there in the corner. I love that. That is so cool. Sometime maybe you'd like to tell me about what that is. And the carpet. The carpet's really neat and it looks like you have a nice patio out there. Love that antique chair right there by the door. Yeah, this looks really nice. Uh, here's a really cute look at her cozy kitchen or dining area. Yeah, I, the green and the blue, that again reminds me of my old home. I love green and blue. It's kind of an ocean feeling. This is very cozy with the candlelight and then that pop of red, and the wine. Perfect touch, Joan, loving it. This is a picture she sent me of her favorite hotel. And can you see why? How pretty is this? Oh man, all the wood, the beams. This is obviously decorated for Christmas because she sent this to me a little while ago, but I'm loving the look of that. I could just snuggle in there, the cozy nature of that room. Beautiful. All right, she also sent me a few sayings that she really wanted to encourage you guys with, so I'm just gonna read them out loud to you and you can take them to heart. When this is over, may we never again take for granted a handshake with a stranger, full shelves at the store, conversations with neighbors, a crowded theater, Friday night out, the taste of communion, a routine checkup, the school rush each morning, coffee with a friend, the stadium roaring, each deep breath, a boring Tuesday, life itself. When this ends, may we find that we have become more like the people we wanted to be, we were called to be, we hoped to be, and may we stay that way better for each other because of the worst. That is such a nice sentiment. Absolutely true. It's so funny when I watch a show on TV now, I think, oh, they're in the same room. Oh no, don't answer the door. There's someone there. It's, it's funny how quickly we become in the isolation mode and oh, this is, these are great words. All right, here's another one that she sent me. And the people stayed home and read books and listened and rested and exercised and made art and played games and learned new ways of being and were still and listened more deeply. Some meditated, some prayed, some danced, some met their shadows and the people began to think differently and the people healed. And in the absence of people living in ignorant, dangerous, mindless, and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed and the people joined together again, they grieved their losses and made new choices and dreamed new images and created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed by Kitty O'Meara. What a beautiful sentiment. I've seen this on Facebook and always wanted to just talk about it and think about it because it's our time now to draw into our beautiful homes. It's the time now to draw close to our family members, even if you're not in the same house with them. We have a digital way of visiting with everybody. And it's the time that we get down to the simple basics in life. So Joan, thank you for sharing those. This was really fun. I have many more to show you and we will continue on with the series tomorrow. Good night.